Hello. friends and welcome it is Friday fun Friday and well I hope we have some fun today we are streaming live to YouTube and Facebook from Ellen J goods and we are a brick-and-mortar shop in Medina New York Buffalo Rochester we're right in between and not too far from Canada so thank you for joining us um, we are also, um, everything that we use today is at ellenjgoods.com and you can also find a lot of other really cool stuff there. So we are, I'm going to be on my own for just a bit because Miss Megan, believe it or not, um, got called for jury duty and she just called me to say she was not selected so she's on her way here and hopefully um, will be here within a half hour or so so she'll jump in and uh, unfortunately I well I put together a collection for the products that we use today which will be in the description box on YouTube and it will also be she pins the comment I think on Facebook but Anyway, I didn't do that. She'll do that at, when she comes back. So thank you for being patient with me. And let's see who's here. Hand over your shirt and nobody gets hurt. <laughs> That's all right. It's actually a dress. <laughs> I bought this when I was in, in uh, California the last time with Mara and, and Jane. So hi, Cheryl. How are you? Yeah, she was, you know, Megan lives for um, a good mystery, a uh, uh, true crime, um, to solve uh, solve mysteries and uh, look at evidence. So you know that she, this would be right up her alley to serve on the jury um, of this particular trial. But she didn't get selected for whatever reason. And uh, so she's on her way home. And also we are all jumping for joy because we got a lot of stuff going on here at L&J Goods and we need every helping hand possible. So hey, hello Mary. Yeah, she would have loved it, Sandy. Absolutely. Hi, Melissa. It's good to see you. Um, let's see who's over on YouTube. You guys, you all know, like, you all take care of yourselves over there. And you, um, you always um, keep each other company over on YouTube. And I love that. So I'm just going to find out where to find you. I guess it would be on my channel. And let's see, there we are. Hello, hello. And who, oh, look at that chat going wild over there. There's Cat, Judy, Roo Roo too, Diane. Hey, Judy Gunlock, Linda Getz. Oh my goodness, Rusty Indigo, hello from small town Texas. Stephanie, Diana, hello Paula. You guys, thank you so much. And Stephanie B2, thank you. She um, is reminding everyone that the best way that you can support our small business here in this little town is truly just to hit a like, subscribe, follow, leave a comment. You have no idea what that simple thing will do for our business. It is just incredible how the algorithms just um, make friends with all those comments and likes and follows and, and that stuff. So we always appreciate if you would support us in that way. So um, today we're, hello Al, good to see you. Janet, thank you for ordering that butterfly. Oh, you're addicted to true crime, says Sandy. Hello, Rosie. Oh, thank you so much, you guys, for hanging out. We are going to do something fun today. And it is, no, not Tim Holtz. We finished up the most incredible, incredible, if I must say so myself, uh, three-day private workshop doing a Halloween journal that was so fun and if there's anybody on YouTube or anybody here on Facebook that participated give a let them know how much fun you had in that group this week 
It was so crazy cool. We're still coming off the high of that amazing journal. If we have time at the end, I'll give you a quick flip through of what we did. But, um, but today it's gonna be all about mixed media with an autumn looking butterfly. And I am so excited to finally share with you our newest stencil here at Ellen J. Goods, which is called Shattered Wings. And I know it's a little hard to see this. I did try to ink over it so that you could see it, but it is a gorgeous, gorgeous, um, big butterfly stencil that's very distressed. And I gotta say, I've, we worked on this one for a little while and I totally love it. So it's something that you can use on clothing, on here I did it just on a t-shirt and I used IOD stamps that just say butterfly here. Um, you can use it um, on pillows, uh, layered on, with fabric, like stenciled on drop cloth and popped on the back of a denim jacket. There's so many fun ways that you can use this. I, I left also these spaces kind of big in here. Um, like these spaces kind of big so that we could do some other fun um, applications within that stencil. So um, that is that is one thing that we're going to be featuring today. And we're going to be using Debbie's DIY paint and some liquid patina. I'm mixing those two to create uh, glazes and um, and make that paint permanent right after I apply it so that I do not have to wax or apply a big top sealer to my piece. Then the other thing is, and we've already sold some online, there's not many left. JR and I were at um, Madison Balkville a few weeks back and we bought up what was left of this incredible arched wainscoting, right? And um, it was it, it's so it was so cool. I shared pictures of that on um, on Facebook. I know I shared them on Facebook, but um, I said, listen, if we if we can um, split that somehow and create individual frames, that would give people the opportunity to share in this amazing architectural salvage. So he cut one for me, which is a double arch, and it he trimmed it out, it's just beautiful. So um, JR then took what was remaining and he made these beautiful custom frames so that you could also have a piece of this salvage. I'm gonna switch the camera down and show you what I'm talking about. So this is the piece. Isn't this incredible? Look, it's so, so stinking cool. There are two sizes. The one I'm working on here is a little bit narrow. I think they're like 18 by, oh, the measurements are in the description. One is 18 inches wide and one is 22 inches wide, I think, or 21. I'm not sure, but the but the um, but they the dimensions are in there, and these are just amazing. It has the original paint, all of this like peeling, cracking, wonderful old paint, which is all intact. We didn't do a thing to them, other than split them, and then Jr. cut a sheet of masonite that fits right into the back and he's pre-drilled holes and given us little nails to be able to attach that to the back. So hooray for JR. So that's what we're gonna be working on today. And um, hello, Kathy Doucette, isn't it beautiful, Sandy? Oh, my, Andrea, I know, I know. And thank you, Sally. It was an epic Halloween journal class, wasn't it? Was Everybody's got some great ideas and, and they're working on some awesome journal projects. So anyway, so I'm gonna put this aside and we'll come back to it. But um, like I said, these have been selling. I did send the link out to the text group. So I don't know how many are left. There's only a few left. 
But here's my sheet of masonite that he cut for me for this particular piece. And um, what I did is I just had this old stained oversized uh, thing that um, my friend Stephanie Monahan sent to me a long time ago. It was just like an off cut or a, one of her printing fails. You know, you have those when you're when you do this kind of stuff. So I dug it out and that's what I used. Now, um, yes, sh Shannon, yes, the it does come with the masonite um, piece for the back of it. So it's all ready for you to go. Um, oh yeah, a lot of different things you can create with that frame. Oh my, oh my goodness, yes. Okay, thank you Karen, thank you Rebecca. JR is my hero too when it comes to this good stuff. He really, well, eh, pretty much when, he, when it comes to anything, so. <laughs> We all need a JR. Yes, we do. <laughs> we sure do. So I just want to show you a few alternatives you could use for your backing if you didn't have um, if you didn't have this giant piece that Stephanie Monahan sent you. <laughs> so this is a French grain sack from um, Decoupage Queen. I thought this would be a beautiful background depending on what you're going to do with that butterfly. Um, we also, you could take some of our Decoupage Queen, or I'm sorry, apologize. Uh, you could take, and you've seen me do this before, you could take these Monaghan papers, the documents and so forth, and you could use those, piece those on there. There are also some recycled options. You could use, uh, for example, the neutral um, ticking would be a great choice it, for something a little simpler. I think that that would be a beautiful option as well. So what this is going to be is this is going to be, uh, I'm going to put this guy on here, then I'm going to use some other um, other things, stamps and so forth, to really uh, bring this to life and really create a beautiful mixed media piece. Um, who got a big, oh thank you Nina. Uh, thank you for getting a frame. You're gonna love it. Could you rent JR out? Oh, well, I don't know what he would charge. Hi, Linda. How are you today? Um, so, okay, the comments go by quickly and I just, I'm so bad. I'm trying to concentrate here and look here and I'm waiting for Megan to get back and boy, the chat is, uh, is really going bananas over there. Okay, so I decoupage this on and it has it, it is sealed because I wanna now tone this down. I want this more in the background. So again, if you're if you're in the um if you are in the group or I'm sorry, if you're in oh let me see Hi, Laura. Oh, I'm so glad you got here on time. We would not want to have to report you. You know, it's the end of the month and Megan has to meet her quota. <laughs> in <Yeah>. HR. <laughs> but if, if anybody wants to share a link to our website or do any of those things that will help us out, if I miss, if I miss a comment, um, by all means, you are welcome to do that. That would help me so much. And I have got White Swan here and some liquid patina. And because I don't have my gesso with me today, we're just gonna use this. Come on, you. I got a glob. I must have a glob there. Ah, there we go. Sometimes that's all it takes, just to, whoo, that little release, right? And because this is mixed media, I, I'm not going to get super, super fancy with this. I just want to mix some of my paint with that liquid patina. And what that's going to do is it's going to create almost a little bit of a translucent finish, but it's going to seal down that Debbie's DIY paint too. So um, I may have to add like a few layers of this, but think of this as like applying gesso over your papers or your pages that you do. And it um, it just tones everything down in the background so that I can then add other um, elements to the top of it. And that it won't be too distracting in the background. Okay. 
And you could also, I mean, it's fun too to like take this and use your brayer and move that around. Oh, I like that. Ooh, I like that a lot. Let me see. I bet Meg Megan uh, got called for jury duty. She did. She did. <laughs> so, but she said she was right up in the jury box and was being questioned, and then they 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 said they dismissed didn't, her. Yeah, they dismissed her because uh, for whatever reason she doesn't know. It's like, oh, I wish I knew why they didn't want me. But for this particular case, she was kind of guessing it might be because she has sons around the age of the defendant and. You know, that that could be. Yeah. Well, this is this the same trial that Augie was called for? This is it. Yes, Augie got called as a backup. Oh, he's an alternate then. Well, no, not an alternate, okay. but just like standby. I guess on standby, probably if they don't select someone um, from this pool, they've got. Well, they. It's like it's like some show up at this time, some show up at this time, some show up at this time. And then Augie was in the group that was like just waiting, like he had to just wait and see if they needed him. Okay, see what that does? That just creates a whole cool, uh, not only um, tones down that background, but it also starts to add another layer which um, you guys, I know that one of the things that we struggle with when we're doing a journal, when we're doing mixed media, when we're working with any of these projects, and I just ripped my, eh, but that's okay. You know what? I'm just gonna tear that off. Um, it's like, how, how can I cover over this awesome like paper that I just put down? and you have a hard time, an alternate, maybe, yeah. But um, you, I know that it can be a struggle to actually um, layer over things that you have already put down. Barbara, yes, the butterfly stencil is available. If somebody wants to give Barbara that link, you can certainly do that for me. I would appreciate it. Barbara, what we're going to do is we will add that whole collection list for everything that we're using today to our to the comments and pin that to the top. Over in YouTube, that collection list link will be will end up in the description box. But anyway, um, I know it's tough to like, oh my gosh, that was just such a perfectly good background. Why would you throw white paint over it? Now you've ruined it. Um, I do want to say that in the world of mixed media, um, all of these layers mean something. And they, they are something that creates texture. Now, when this is done, and I've added all the different layers on top and done things, I can promise you that I will never forget that this background paper right here came from my friend Stephanie Monahan. Okay, I'm never gonna forget that. It's still there, and some parts of it are peeking through. But I don't want this just to be all about what Stephanie gave me. No. It's going to have many different layers and components that will tell a story right here on this piece of masonite, right? And so I do want you to kind of keep that in mind that, you know what, it's okay to cover up those layers. Cheryl Messina, I think it was Amy Schmidt and I were having this discussion with the Halloween thing. It's like, ugh, I know, it's so I hard. know, Leah, it's really hard. I wonder if you could do me a favor. Could sure. you get me a bin, like a tub of water? Sure, or, can. Um, there's, there's actually cups down in door number 13, I believe. Nope. No? The, ne the next yeah, row okay. down. I can't see that low. <laughs> oh, okay. So does that make sense? Are there, why did you use white gesso instead of paint? Uh, why 
Did you, you, okay, Sally, I, this is not gesso. This is white paint and I'm using DIY paint. So um, I chose DIY because DIY is giving me the colors that I want to use in this particular piece. I couldn't come up with anything quite like I wanted in the fusion line. So I decided to use Debbie's. We know that DIY paint is activated um, is water activated. So I wanted to create a little transparency with it. So I just mixed it with liquid patina that, that serves two purposes. It creates a little transparency for the DIY paint, which is very highly pigmented. And it also makes it so I don't have to seal over top of it. It's that sealer kind of mixed right in with this. And that'll allow me to layer things without reactivating what's underneath. Does that make sense? Okay. Um, let me see. Megan's not here yet. No, no, Tracy, if you, what is gesso? Gesso is a white um, artist medium, which, um, Oh, how do I explain it? it? It is usually used on canvases to prime them. It, it's a preparation and a primer, but we use it a lot in mixed media and on my journal pages to soften and tone down um, other elements. Oh, hi, Mom. Did I see you out in front, Mom? Megan's not here. She's on her way back from jury duty. Oh, no. Yeah, that's fine, Sally. No problem. I, I use this as an alternative to gesso. Let me go over to YouTube, see if anybody has any questions there. Hi, you guys. Hey, Patrice. It's good to see you here. You're in Scotland. Oh, hello from... Glasgow, Scotland. Hello, Debbie. That's right, Stephanie. I forgot you can't post a link. That's right. So if you're over on the YouTube, you can um, just wait until I'm able to put that link for the supplies in the description box. Alrighty. Okay, so Holly, I hope that um, answered your question. Is this a stamp? No. Jerry, this is our newest stencil. This is an Ellen J. Good stencil and it's called Shattered Wings. Nice, big, wide, good size stencil. Okay, so I want to double check my placement here. And of course, the piece that JR had left was narrow. So I can't, I don't want to put him up in the center. I thought, well, I, actually, I could. Would that look weird with his wings partially covered? No. I mean, I like it at the bottom. Close See, I was thinking bottom. of putting it here and then stamping some other butterflies up here. That's That was my thought. Yeah. I like it down there. But Okay, cool. Yep, that's what I'm going to do then, Leah. <laughs> All right, I made the final decision, huh? Yes, you did. All righty. So, the first thing that I am going to do is I'm going to mix up some, uh, I'm just going to mix up a little bit of weathered wood, and I don't need a lot of this. I need my pokey. Here you want this one. Yeah, yeah, that's all right. I got it. Thank you. A little bit of weathered wood, because it's kind of a brown black. It's not, you know, it's not black velvet. It's not brown. Um, it's like a mix of the two. And again, I want a little bit of liquid patina mixed with that. Oops, a lot of liquid patina. <laughs> and you know what else I don't have? My what stencil do brush. That other bin of brushes in door number five will have, you can give me all those stencil brushes. But let me mix this up. And I don't mind if this first layer is a little bit uh, transparent because I'm gonna then stencil over top of this as well. Yes, it is a new stencil, Mom. You got it or you just want to take it? 
here we are. I'm going to use my stipple. You know what I was thinking of trying is what? putting it on a black t-shirt and then spritzing it with bleach. Because I it would, would love orange. to see. I would love to see. And if I, was, that I was thinking of a butterfly. And see yes. I well, I wanted to dye this t-shirt. and I want to dye. I'm dying to dye it like an orange color. I think I'm going to so try a pretty. black t-shirt and spritz it with bleach. Yep. Good idea. I'll let you know how it turns out. Yes. <laughs> so, I mean, honestly, this is going to be so, um, hi, Kathy. This could be so, like, washy and layers and layers that I'm not concerned if I have um, an even distribution of paint here or if it kind of bubbles up I don't mind that's fine too but there we go okay so that's my first layer then what I'm going to do is I'm going to dry this oh is that pretty this is going to increase in vibrancy you'll see And when I was looking up images on Pinterest, I was just so struck by the colors in this that I thought, I, I've got to do this. I have to kind of emulate that look right there. Okay, okay. Now, before we move on, I'm going to grab one of my stencils, and this is Alpha Bellies. Alpha bellies? What? Why would you use alpha bellies? Here's why. I just want a little texture in the background of this butterfly to come through the paint that will go over top of this. And I love like these scrolly kind of, see the scrolliness on there? Love that. So I'm just going to take some IOD ink and let's ink this. And kind of want it to go more in some of these open spaces here. And again, I will be, um, I am going to be applying paints over top of this. So I'm hoping that these will very subtly show through those paint colors. Oh, it went outside the lines. Uh oh, <gasps> that's okay. It's okay. All right, so that's Alpha Bellies. I'm cleaning up. And then I grabbed Le Courier because I want a little bit of type also on here. And let's. Um, I'm just going to kind of stamp thank you Lindsay just to be clear Jerry said you add a little liquid patina to each paint color before applying to your butterfly so that the colors don't mix into each other that is exactly right. Shannon, I just looked up butterfly art. <laughs> That's all I did. And of course, there'll be a million things. So, um, okay, we're going to have so many, so many cool textures here. Oh. Uh, Oh, I'm loving it already. And just as this kind of fades a little bit with each application, I, that's what I want it to do. So I just want this to just come through the background. I mean, seriously, that's so cool. Even just like that, you know? This is what we call mixed media. <laughs> We're using all the things. There you go. 
Thank okay. you. Yeah, thanks, Leah. All right, so let me dry this down. Let's go see what's going on over on YouTube. Oh, you, you guys are all talking jury duty over there. <laughs> it's okay. Keep adding those comments. <laughs> oh my gosh. So funny. <laughs> Thank you, Melissa. I know. Um, Mary said, if you stamped and embossed with clear embossing powder, would that create a resist for the paint? Um, probably. It probably would. But you know, when we talk about having an art journal, that is um, one of the reasons that I love to have an art journal because just for for exactly what Mary just said, um, we have a question. I wonder what would happen if, right? And so instead of uh, depending on the fact that may or maybe thinking that somebody else has already done it, I certainly <laughs> haven't tried everything. You get to try it yourself and use your own art journal to play around with those textures and techniques that you've never done before or that you have a question about. One of those, what would happen if, right? Okay. Okay, I know everyone knows this, but where do I find the description box for all the products used? I've never been able to find it. Kathy, the description box is over on YouTube. So we are streaming to both Facebook and YouTube right now at the same time. If you popped over to our YouTube channel, you would see me doing the same thing. And in there, there's a little arrow or it says more um, under the title and you can click that and there will be a whole list of all the products that I've used. So that is the description box on YouTube. Here on Facebook, um, we put that collection list in the comments and then Megan also adds it to a pinned comment or to the title. Um, so it's, it's there. It's not there yet. I will say that it's not there yet, Kathy, but thank you for asking that because I'm sure that a lot of people have that question. So when you go back and look at this later, Kathy, what you'll see is um, that on the under the, on the title and maybe in the first comment, there will be um, a link with a supply list. And I'm just going to do a little bit of mixing. I don't know how this is going to turn out, but we're just going to we're just going to mix and try. Cuz I want kind of a I don't want orange, I don't want red, I don't want brown, but I almost want like, almost like a burnt umber. Oh, that goes a little coral, doesn't it? Yeah. Woo, I don't know if I like that. Well, it's not bad. <laughs> it's not that bad. <laughs> I'm just gonna, I mean, honest to goodness, I am just playing. Nobody has come up with a really good, like burnt umber kind of paint, a rust colored paint. Yeah, I didn't know if adding weathered wood would make it muddy. That's what I'm sitting here thinking. Hmm, would that make it muddy? It could. It, it, it does. But, uh, yeah, who am I kidding? I can also make, um, I can also do a really nice brown by using a little bit of blue and a little bit of, which is not going to show really well here, but. My pure blue is really going to add to that. Okay, I think I got a color that I like here. <laughs> there she is. Hi. Hi. Hi, hi, hi. I've got both YouTube and um, Facebook up on my okay. computer if you want to. I can take that from you. Beautiful. Thank you, Liz. What color am I using? I use some Summer Crush, and I use some uh, Marquee. I have also used, uh, I stuck a little bit of Hey Sailor in there, and I, I mean, just a tiny drop, you saw that. 
And also I used a bit of weathered wood to kind of create this look right here. And then I want to add a bit of my, hi there, a bit of my liquid patina. Uh oh. Oh, that's oh. great. That's a perfect oh, yes. rusty color. How did I do that? You're going to ask me for a recipe? And yeah. I don't know, a little of this and a little of that, right? But I will tell you that if you mix like Hey Sailor or Real True Blue with um, Summer Crush, um, it does make a beautiful terracotta color. And I think that's kind of the look that I'm going for here. This is looking good. Isn't it pretty? Thank you. Okay, so let's um, let's just kind of start to. Do we have a collection for today? We do. However, I forgot to put it in the menu. Okay. On the know. on the website, um, I do have a collection list. Several okay. people have been asking me about the collection. Mm -hmm. We were just waiting for you. Yeah. Did you add it to the description here on Facebook and YouTube? I did not. Okay, so you haven't shared the collection. No. I haven't. Wow, things are really falling apart. See, you have a, you have a spoil <laughs> because you have to get us done. And your mom's, well, she was either doing this or doing that. Mm -hmm. so, but you look, know. you guys, here what I can do too is I don't have to paint just those open areas. I can kind of go over this a little bit that I've already stenciled to create a really um, soft and shaded effect. Oh my gosh, Leah brought these <gasps> caramel cold brew M&Ms. Oh, you did. Really <gasps> oh. I grabbed a pack when I was at the drugstore. Drug okay. Mom will be lucky if there's any left by the end of the Well, month. you better save me one. They are That's addictive. Oh. <laughs> mm. I wasn't expecting it to be chewy. It's oh. that caramel in it. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Here's the thing with this type of a project, you can, I am not being neat and tidy with this at all. Ooh, there's that cappuccino flavor. Mm -hmm. It's not there right at the beginning. Mm -hmm. I can also mist this a little bit. This is already kind of dried down a little bit. I mean, if I, I, I could seriously do some great drips with this too. Maybe I will when I get down to the bottom. You can go as light or as dark as you like. We still have that awesome butterfly shape there. Look, I'm gonna. This computer's so dark. How do I bring up the brightness here? Oh, there's a little oh, light. Ooh, kind of much better. Light look. Oh, I always say, man, when I get my fingers in it, that's when you know I mean business. Mm -hmm. But see, just by adding that liquid patina, it's already dried down a bit. It's good. Yes, and I put my finger in my mouth. Yes, With I did. With paint on it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> With paint on it. But did it's Debbie's. Did you eat glue when you were in there? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> she was one of those paste eaters. Probably. It was good, though. Okay, those salvaged frames. I don't know how many are left. It says sold out. <gasps> I don't know how many you added. I added some. I added what we had. So they're probably gone. Okay. Sorry guys, I'm so sorry. I knew they were gonna be so special. I just wanna make sure we actually did add them. Yeah. Okay, beautiful. They are really cool. They're so good. It's like I just had that vision for them and I'm so glad that JR like stuck, stuck with me on it, you know? Okay, right now I'm just going to put the collection as the pinned comment on Facebook because I can't add it to the description right now, and I will add it to the description on YouTube. Okay, so now let's let me get just a touch more of this, and I want to start adding. 
I don't know if we're going to be live Wednesday, Stephanie, but happy birthday. Oh. I don't know. Are we going live this upcoming Wednesday? We might. We might. Depends on how uh, how much we... Um... Okay, this is cake batter. Well, I'm sure everyone here knows now that I was not selected for jury duty. Did you already tell them the news? I did. Yes, I sure did. Okay. Well, I don't really want to talk about it anymore. Okay. It is tough when you get that close. You, I went in there not wanting it, but then yeah. when you get that close, it's like, well, why not me? <laughs> I know. Like, <laughs> why didn't you pick me? <laughs> they won't even ask me anymore. They won't? Well, you get to a certain age, you don't they, I guess they feel you don't have the mental capacity. <laughs> See, I'm just like shocked that. in Orleans County they can even get that many people in a room that are know, related or know, know each other. I, August and I were both summoned it's at a summons. crazy. Yeah. yeah. From the same address. Mm -hmm. Wouldn't you think that it would kind of filter that out mm -hmm. a little bit? Like, oh, they live the Oh, and there were some people. I mean, nobody really wants to be there, but man, some people are so vocal about it. Raising their hands. Now, why do we even have to watch this video? We haven't even been selected yet. And then it makes them pause the video. So now we're so here longer. It takes longer. They're like, sir, by law, we have to show this video. Well, this is a bunch of BS. Yes. You know what? It's like, those, oh my God. And those of the attorneys look at that one and go, I think I might want him on yeah. the jury just because he yeah. hates it. And they're just like, well, take it up with your local legislator, and maybe mm -hmm. you can yeah. lobby. I think I'm going to protest this. Like, sir, you may do that. Now is not the time. Right. Oh, my gosh. Um, you've already sold one of those. Oh, we've sold all they're of all them. Done. They're done. They're I all sold. I didn't even get one. That's okay. A lady called me to get the gun. Then you're going to have to explain it. Because she got bumped off. Sorry. <laughs> we have no control over it. I didn't think you were putting it on there until... Yes. Well, I'm not... <laughs> how not... How must be nice. Lack of communication. <laughs> Let's give this guy some drips down. I was loving it, Nina. I do. I am fascinated by the whole process. Oh, yeah. Liz says I'm into apricot these days. Is that too light for fall? No. Apricot is a beautiful color. Oh, yeah. I did grand jury too, Melissa. I loved it. You get to stand up with a microphone and introduce yourself and tell a little bit about your life. I did enjoy that. You did? <laughs> yep. What did she say? I have four boys. Four beautiful. It just says, do you have children? I say, I have four beautiful sons. <laughs> <laughs> I know. And I say, can you believe it? My oldest son's 22. <laughs> you did say I did that? a tight five. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> Jerry, I see that you asked if it's a stamp. Maybe Mom already answered you, but it is a stencil. Mom's newest stencil design. It's right here, Jerry. Okay. Grandma said this reminds her of when she taught painting. Oh, does it? You're dragging your sleeve, but eh, it's probably already partially dried, so it's good, right? <laughs> All righty. Um, oh, is that pretty? That's pretty. It really is. But you know what it Lovely. needs? It needs something on the opposite side of the color wheel. Mm -hmm. And so we're going to do that right now. What paper is that in the background? Is that French it's, green it's, stuff? No, it's not. I, I did tell them they could use French. I used a paper from Stephanie, but I gave them a couple of alternatives that they could use. What did you use? Multiple papers? or No, this is just one great big one. But I have. also wanted to illustrate a point about adding layers and adding, like, covering over layers. That just because, like, this... Bye. I'm going to try to make a table for you. Okay, thank you. Grandma just said a little purple. Um, 
Like, that's a paper that Stephanie sent me, one of her discards. Mm -hmm. So the fact that I put these layers and washed out layers of, with white over it does not take away from the fact I still know this paper came from Stephanie and it's part of the story of my piece. Paul said, Megan, you don't look old enough to have a 22 year old. And I appreciate that. I was just hoping just at least one person in the gallery or the district attorney or the <laughs> somebody would, someone would just, you know, make a little comment, but. I understand it's a professional environment. They can't do that. Oh, yeah. That probably would have disqualified me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I even paused for a moment after I said, my oldest son's 22, and I looked around, and <laughs> nothing. Crickets. <laughs> Is that right? Yep. Oh. <laughs> I'm going to dry this down a bit so I don't make mud. <laughs> Lori said, I've served jury duty once where I had been on a date with the prosecuting attorney. My own attorney was the defense attorney. <laughs> oh, my gosh. She didn't serve, did she? Yo, did you serve on that jury? That's so funny. Because usually they don't let you. No. Yep. I'll give this back if you need it. I'm going to just get it out of the way. Oh, Aunt Karen was on a murder trial. Was it when you lived here, Aunt Karen, or in Florida? Yeah, this trial was not going to be a fun trial, that's for sure. So, I'm not too sad about it. Lori said she did serve on it. They both vouched for her. <laughs> Get out of here. Are you serious? I'm surprised they were. That's really, really surprising. I would think it's even more upsetting that they vouched for her. Is there somebody up front? I don't know. Oh, JR left? Yeah, he had to go build a table. Yes, he did. Yes, there are customers here. Hey there. How you doing? Speaking of art journals, we've got a great, um, I'll be teaching in Ohio um, in October, first, first uh, I think it's October 1st, 2nd, 3rd, something like that, and we are going to be doing some really cool mixed media art pieces. Uh, or art pa journal pages in your own art journal and I'm just so excited about like all the techniques that are going to be shared and it's going to be fun. That is that Extending Grace. It feels good to get my hands into paint again. Okay, and let's bring a little bit of that blue up here toward the top.
It's looking pretty. Okay, I'm gonna turn on the air here for a second. Sorry guys, I know that's so loud. But it'll give it'll dry this off a little bit more. It's amazing how much it changes by adding the color. It's just by adding that contrast color. Absolutely. Yep. just looks autumn-y to me, mm -hmm. and it's going to look even more autumn-y in a minute. Okay, let me now start to get some stamps in the background. This is IOD Sprigs. I haven't used this in a while, and I do love it. Um... Okay, Leah, I'm yep. going to ask for that one with this the one brown and the... Mm -hmm. And I'm going to take... Yep, perfect. And I'm just going to take this. And I've got my, my sprigs here. And I'm just going to, like, kind of freestyle this because I... Um, I don't mind if it smudges a little bit because that's kind of what I'm the look I'm just going for. So I'm just pulling it while well, I might have to because these are a little unwieldy, I will say. So I might have to I might have to put them on the back and because they can be little stinkers. So let me let me lay a couple of these out. And see what I want to do here. Okay. I am not going to freestyle this. Okay, I'm going to take my brayer and I'm going to pick up some of that um, brown and I'm picking up some of the weathered wood and that kind of rusty terracotta that I made. Yes, 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 yes. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Do you see it, you guys? But I mean, I am really slapping that paint on there. It does not matter if it's smudgy. We don't mind. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna have you rinse that right off. Yep, thank you. And I'll come in with something a little more substantial, but I'm working with the same palette of color. Oh, I really want to do this. Looks makes him look mothy. He's like a moth.
I'm not using every single one of these sprig stamps. I, I'm trying to, because there's so much going on on this, I'm kind of um, being very selective about how many different elements I choose. Now for the last, I'm gonna I'm gonna actually use a couple of the IOD butterfly stamps. I'm gonna use this nice big one. And I want some black velvet. like I'm not as concerned with this particular piece about getting a perfect um, inked impression I don't mind if it's a little blobby okay let's see we've got some questions here the butterfly stencil is not sold out you don't see it on the list maybe mom didn't add it to the list yeah I did I'll make sure not on the list oh that's weird probably you're just thinking oh the whole thing is about it you have that in your head you know what I mean yeah I know okay it's on the list there we go okay and I'm gonna do another little repeating element here and it's called shattered wings so yes. if you were looking up butterfly you wouldn't find it sorry Leah. Oh, no problem. <laughs> okay now, um, now we're going to, let me dry this down a bit. Um, someone asked, is that Sprig Stamp? Yes, that is Sprig Stamp. It is. Is that in the collection? Yep. Uh, what is the base of your project? Is it canvas or board? It's a board, masonite board. Okay. Carol, it's okay. Okay, we want to make sure that that is going to be nicely dried down. And it's not quite yet. Healy loves the splatters. Mm-hmm. She right. can't bring herself to say she loves the butterfly. No, I know. <laughs> Okay, then we're going to take this guy again. Patrice said, Lynn could add some black diamond dust or the color of her choice in glitter. Yes, okay, Patrice, but I'm not going to with this one, honey. Oh, I'm Kat, thank you. She said, I solemnly swear that Megan and Lynn as well look even younger in person. You look pretty young too, Kat. Oh my gosh, you're so sweet. And Stephanie said her stepfather was a judge and her mom got picked for jury duty. Is that right? That's funny. Kathy asks, what is a good DIY color for that blue silverish snowflake color? The blue silverish snowflake color. Maybe prom queen? Yeah, yeah. Prom queen could be good. Stephanie, the, Tim Holtz has a good splatter brush. Did you, is that what you used, Mom? Or you just I did. Right I just used my my. Uh, oh, and look at that! Look how that beautiful brought that right back to with that beautiful contrast. Oh my stars! Hey, and I did it in an hour. Yeah. Check it out. No golden ticket though. You're not using it anywhere. 
No, not in this one. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna add. Sounds like you just no. Megan. I don't think so. No. Is that sheer? No. Nope. Not for this. Raise your hand if you think a little. Megan. <laughs> I'm allowed to ask them. You don't have to do anything you don't want to. I'm just curious. If anybody thinks a little golden She's ticket, so even as a splatter, would be beautiful no. on here. I think, come on. See, I'm even adding to my stencil. She even warned those of us who were going to be late that you had a quota to meet at the end of the month for HR. <laughs> for what, the late? For lateness. For late, yeah. Yeah, because it was getting near the end of the month. And yes, it is. We had a quota. See how I'm kind of twisting and turning my brush here? Meanwhile, I was late. Mm -hmm. well, we've already noted. That I was mandated, though. It's fair. Yeah. Lori agrees on gold. Lindsay thinks golden ticket is always a good idea. I'm well, just, you when you, you guys do yours, you'll be able you to do that. that. That's exactly right. right. Yeah, mixing a little tarnished pearl. Yeah, in with the blue would make it like that silvery, maybe. Well, it would make it look more greenish. Well, it's a little warmer, yeah, isn't it? Mm-hmm. And I'm gonna, for this, for the purpose of this, I'm coloring in his eye and making that just a little. Oh my gosh, I'm crazy about this. And that's the, what is the name of that stamp? That's Monarch? Is that what that's called? Uh, that's called Butterflies. That's not in our list either. Oh my gosh. It's okay, you were working hard. You're right, I was, Megan. All right, and so one of the last things I want to do, I want to make sure that this is dry, and we're just going to add, we're going to bring a little bit of, not a lot, just a little. No, I don't think so. Okay. I think I just want a suggestion of a little shading on there. And I'm really just picking up. Yeah, I will take a little of that blue. Thank you, Leah. You know, Leah, you're right. Just a little. Just a touch. Look. Yep, just enough That's to repeat all. that color. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then I can always go over and deepen some of this just kind of depends on the look you're going for Just a touch more of the cake batter. And again, see, I'm not doing like a paint by number kind of thing. I am literally just swiping some of this color over here to further uh, emphasize and brighten some of those areas. But there it is. Look at that. I do love this. I will give this one overall coat of a sealer. And there it is framed out. Ooh. Yeah. You like? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's good, you guys. Look at that. From top. Oh, is that pretty? To bottom. Love it. 
So congratulations, you guys, if you were able to snag one of these incredible frames. I'm so happy. Um, thank you very much. And uh, that does it for today. Wow. Um, I think I, I don't have time today to show our, um, our journal project. I'll show you the cover of it. And it's not too late for you to get into this class. It's available for the lifetime of Facebook. But there it is. And there's a whole story that goes along with this. <laughs> the kids didn't have dinner until after class the other night. I said, I have class from 6 to 8. You didn't want to eat before? I'm not cooking now. Oh, <laughs> I know. You don't want to miss it. Like, what's happening next? <laughs> I'm looking for my little uh, thing to switch views. Oh. It's here somewhere. I guess I'll just do this, you guys. We got it. Thank you so much, you guys. I hope you have a wonderful Friday. Thanks for hanging out with us here today. We'll be back on Monday, and I believe it's going to be something Halloween-y, and you won't want to miss it, okay? Take care. Oh, don't forget, the IOD release, September, September 5th. 5th, and we will Ooh. send a text out, we'll send an email, Everything will be available. We, our shipment comes, I think it comes today. And oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. I've been working behind the scenes on some really fun projects. I think you're going to really love this one. So um, if you're not in your text group, get in it. If you do not sign up, have not signed up for our emails, sign up for them on lnjgoods.com so that you always are aware of the very best and first news that we have to share. Thanks guys, have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. Bye.